So, Monday morning, starting up slowly. Uh, I enjoyed the first snow uh, this week on the bike. It was quite dangerous, but I uh, made it so far. I'm finishing this one today. Commissioned watercolor painting of a lovely street close to the studio here. I uploaded a few uh, new videos this weekend. They, these are snippets from my uh, lectures I'm doing now and uh, there are one or two videos uh, with questions and comments from the audience and I like that. Before I start a lecture I always tell them that uh, they can interrupt me with questions and comments because then I'm not only telling my story but we do it together and uh, yeah, there was a lady, uh, I, I think in the second video this weekend, um, it's about, uh, yeah, it's, it's the video um, with a title, it says something like uh, starting the next painting uh, about expectations, I think that's the title. I will uh, share the link in the description of this video. And this lady uh, asked, uh, what do you do? when you start a new painting and you feel immediately that there is something wrong um, that you feel that um, you're making mistakes maybe or um, actually I, I never thought about this before I thought that every one of us finds their way in, in trial and error and what you see when a painting is done well, this one is not done, but when a painting is done, you see the result of uh, mistakes, uh, success. Um, so, you don't enjoy painting every single minute, maybe. Sometimes you really get upset um, and you even have to put you're painting away sometimes for a day or a week but the more you do it um, uh, I think the the better you know what subjects you should paint and how you should pre how you should show these subjects as you know what I mean so I remember that um, as a student for example um, for me it was so important and it took a lot of time to explore the subjects that I should not paint. You see a lot every day um, when you're traveling for example you see beautiful subjects but um, in my opinion not every single subject is um, it ma makes it possible to to make a painting of it. So Reality, reality is sometimes beautiful, but um, not always visible. This beauty is not always visible in a, in a painting. So what I remember from the academy is that I created a, a kind of island uh, where I was alone with my subjects that I could paint. In the, in the final year, I painted uh, boats and water reflections behind the building of the academy and um, yeah that was my target that was what I wanted to make a series of boats and, and, and moving water reflections uh, although there was a lot more to paint but you have to concentrate on uh, something that uh, captures you and um, it must be a, a subject that's uh, offering a lot to to learn from and to explore so well uh, you start sketching uh, walking ar you start walking around that that area that spot that you want to paint um, you s you see this in in winter and summer and and the other well in, in every season and then it changes you see it in the morning, you see it in the afternoon. So you make bad and good pictures, bad and good paintings of it. Um, 
But the less you paint, the more you are fixated on, on the one and only painting you make, I think. Um, but when, you, when painting is a, is a daily habit, um, it's, it's not hard to uh, decide that uh, one of your paintings today are, 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 are too bad. And uh, you, you even forget it. You only remember the, the, the best paintings of the week or, or the month. And um, then you make pictures of them and you put them on your website. And, and the, the worst paintings are totally forgotten. In my opinion, when you when you are really distracted by that thought and that feeling, and, and when you're starting a new painting, painting, and you are distracted by the feeling that something is going wrong, I think you are fixated too hard on that the painting must succeed. Um, it will succeed or not, but that that's not an issue in the beginning. You only have to explore the subject and. Um, make it easier um, with uh, the idea that you can make several paintings of the subject and um, then you will learn a lot more about this subject than when you only do one painting and then the third or the fourth painting will be maybe much better than the first one you, you tried And for me, it's always interesting to hear what the other people are finding and read comments about a new painting I made and I post online. Um, when I try something new, I'm totally in love with it. And um, it's the same as when you are in love with a, with a person. You are so in love that you even can't see the, the, the reality, the truth. and. Uh, it takes some time to see it more real and uh, to get sober. And um, for me, with painting subjects, it's the same. <clears throat> so I've painted countless of uh, architecture and, and cityscape paintings. So when I make another cityscape watercolor painting, I, I think I can see quite. Uh, fast if if it's a good one um, but when I'm trying new subject it's it's harder because you are already totally excited that you do something new with the same brushes the same paper the same colors but it looks so different and that's amazing but um, I always take the time before I post it or before I bring it to a gallery. New work needs more time to uh, show itself. I received an email or a comment uh, from one of you. I don't know if it was a, a message or a comment, but the question was um, if there is a website or a platform to show yourself um, for, for, for a large uh, audience. Um, I forgot to answer this question, um, but sometimes I was uh, thinking about it and uh, I don't believe that there is one plot platform, but um, there are a lot of platforms and there are a lot of platforms where I don't feel at home. And for me, that's the first um, feeling that I have to to get that I, I feel at home and I can uh, show myself in a way that that I think I'm, I'm honest I'm I, I can I can show myself how I how I am as an artist um, and and there are artists who decide to to not show themselves um, so you also can only post pictures of your work. Uh, that's fine. I do both, so I show that that art is part of myself in the art I make. Um, and the reason is, um, I believe that.
people not only see a, a picture of a painting, but they see a, a whole world around it. So you see a feeling, a mood, an atmosphere, a history. Um, and for me, when I see paintings on the web, it's interesting to see where it started. So who is the painter? Uh, where does he or she live? Um, what kind of uh, study he or she did before she, uh, she he or she started painting? Um, so I want to see a, a, a whole story. And I think I'm not the only one. Um, I like to make videos. So for me, that's a, a nice way to show more of myself than only the paintings. Uh, for me, it's a nice way to show where these paintings come from. Uh, and not only showing is nice, but also um, I'm editing these videos weekly on Friday. Uh, and it's really nice to see what I've been doing on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, it's it's good to see how I started uh, a new watercolor painting. It's It's my diary, actually. And I don't take time to write in a diary, but these videos, for me, are really helpful. And uh, it's a fact that we make this diary together. You sent me uh, new ideas and uh, insights and, um, well, we explore this adventure together then. And that's uh, one of the best things of this YouTube community for me. But I think when you want to live from that art that you make, in my opinion, it is really important that you are visible online in a way that you like and in a way that you can um, yeah, in a way that, that is easy for you to to do and uh, easy for a long time. So when you are acting a different role than you actually feel, I think it's really hard to, to be online uh, every week or even every day. But I was totally surprised when I posted the first videos on my YouTube channel. In, in this way, in this kind of diary way, it would, I told myself that I wanted to do in the, in the in the purest way. So, I did not think that much about if people would understand it or love it. I just uh, made the first videos in a way that I like it, and um, I was totally surprised by um, uh, the fact that that you that you reach people you didn't know and uh, they like this same slow uh, quiet way of, of showing uh, work I didn't know you were there so I think being online uh, show yourself on, on the web in a transparent honest pure way is really good uh, as you as long as you like it and uh, it's a lot of work but uh, I have a I have a planning so I'm painting from Monday till Thursday and Friday I'm editing and uh, honestly in the weekend I don't do anything
As you saw the video, uh, artists meeting artists on my channel, you saw how uh, Anna Maria made a portrait for me. Um, and the two things I liked the most were that um, she works really efficiently. So um, in the time that I like to mess around with paint, I noticed that she's only watching. And then sometimes she makes a trace, a brush stroke, and then she waits and she watches. And then after several minutes, there is another brush stroke. And um, for a portrait, for example, I think it, it works really well. Um, and another thing that I liked in a painting is that um, she made this painting only with one thick, bold brush. So she draw the beginning with a smaller brush and when she really started painting in color and light and dark she only used one brush. Um, so today I used only three brushes and that's really less than the brushes I use normally for uh, oil painting. Um, and I also decided quite uh, fast what colors I would like to use and as I put them on my palette I knew that I could use more color but um, this is a study so I didn't want to use more color because more color is more time more attention for mixing and um, it, it has really been a while since I have made a portrait so um, yeah I, I wanted to make a portrait today um, I'm not very happy about the colors and the shadow. They are maybe quite lifeless. Um, but I, I like the way I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching in the mirror. And maybe, maybe the pers perspective in, in the eyes is a bit crooked. So the left eye is maybe a bit too high. Um, well, it's it's a study. Maybe I will do another one tomorrow. Um, as you know, I'm going to make more videos with an artist while we are making our portraits. Like that video I was talking about with Anna Maria. Um, that's, that, that's lovely to do, but first I should make sure that I... Uh, have made several self-portraits or portraits um, again uh, several studies but this way of working um, in in two maybe two and a half hour making a portrait is really nice uh, it's a different subject in, in the cityscapes that I'm working on and uh, I prefer oil paint for portraits. It's like modeling in clay. And um, yeah, the, the concentration is, is deep. It's really different, a different way of working than when you're working from photographs. I also want to change the light when I do another portrait tomorrow. I was watching uh, what could be interesting. Actually, I, I, I prefer uh, daylight, but uh, today there are clouds, then there is sun, then there are clouds. So that's not really a kind of steady uh, light source. But for a painting, it looks more interesting than when you put just a, a light on your face and you start painting. Um, it's more like a, when you it's more that kind of light for a, for a photograph no for a first study um, yeah it's good enough for a start
Yeah, I prefer this one. For me, this one is better than the first one this week. Mostly because of the contrast. Uh, yesterday, uh, I spoke already about the color of the shadows. And uh, later I saw it's not only the color of the shadow, but the contrast between light and dark. I painted it like uh, architecture with hard edges and dark shadows, bright whites. Um, and this morning I decided to, to make that softer. Yeah, again, I, I really like to, to use only um, three brushes. So I draw it in a few lines with this brush and almost the whole painting was painted with these two. For me, this is really a large sized brush for painting in this size. Even the mouth and uh, details were done with this or this larger brush. Um, yeah, for me, that's, that's, that's new. Um, you really feel used to take a smaller brush when you paint smaller details, but you shouldn't do it because it's really nice to find out how you should handle the brush to to draw in a different way. I, I really like that. Yeah, it's still a rough study. It's a rough painting. Um, and, and I like that in portraits. Um, you must recognize the person, but you must always you must al also see what uh, he or she is doing. Or so I really recognize myself watching and studying myself in the mirror. And when I paint a child, for example, it's the same. Uh, you must recognize uh, the, the the child, of course, but you must also see that uh, he or she is playing, or something gets her or his attention. Speaking about attention, uh, the, the, the strong focus when you try another subject like this, it's really exciting. It's so great um, when you are painting cityscapes every day, because I like to do that, and then suddenly you, you decide to make several self-portraits. Yeah, doing something different seeing things in a new way and uh, choosing another paint than watercolor painting as I'm doing daily. Well, it's Wednesday afternoon. I had a good week already. I finished this uh, commissioned watercolor painting of the street here close to the studio and uh, two self-portrait studies. I have an appointment this afternoon here so uh, I will make it uh, a bit uh, cozy. There's a lot of uh, mess here on the table and uh, yeah I don't know if there is uh, time left this week to shoot a video because tomorrow I am in Amsterdam again for another commission. Um, later I will meet a painter, a very good painter, uh, for the next uh, episode uh, of me and a painter painting each other portraits. Um, yeah, we will meet tomorrow and uh, speak about this. Thank you for watching and uh, for your lovely comments, emails. Uh, it feels so special to me that uh, even a l many of you write me that um, you started painting again sometimes after 30 years watching these videos that that's so wonderful and uh, I read comments from people who write that they just discovered this channel and started binge watching there's a lot to see so uh, enjoy your weekend Thank you for joining me this week and uh, I see you next week.